NFTV Extra. Yes, hello everybody from St. James's Park. Welcome to NFTV Extra. It's just a just a bit of an update really with the under 23s and the women. So we'll begin with um, speculation that Rodrigo Vilca um, had left the club. He hasn't yet. The reason why we know that is because he pictured a couple of posts on Instagram down at the Hilton Hotel across the Gator Keys. So we know that he's still at Newcastle at the moment. So well, whether he gets a, a loan, because he was linked to the leaders, uh, sorry, I don't know who they are in Peru, the league leaders, for a loan to get him development. Whether that's the right call, personally, I don't. I think he needs another loan, probably championship. He's got to try and, if he doesn't make it this season, I think he'll be out the door, personally. Uh, he's got to try and get a loan in the championship. But a departure who has gone is Rosé Longello. Now, the talented winger, pace, power, left-footed, you know, play left or right. It's a great move from our person, you think, for Accrington Stanley. It's a good signing for them. That's what he's going to bring you, pace, power, play left and right, and he's got a hell of a shot on him as well. Now, obviously, his brother is at West Ham, was also left-footed as well. Um, so he does have a sibling in, the, in his wider family, but I think it's a good move for him. I don't know if Newcastle have got any money for him, but he was on the bench, he was starting, he was on the bench. And he's at that age now where he needs to make a name for himself. So I think it's a, I think it's a good move from him. And all the best from him. I really liked him when I watched the under 23s. He's a good, he's a talent, he's a talent. But unfortunately, he's not going to make it in the Premier League with Newcastle. And the last one, some great news uh, with NUFC women. Now we we've had the star striker Katie Barker run. We've had the manager Becky Langley. We have the captain Brooke Cochran all on live shows. And obviously, I pop up to watch the uh, the women's occasionally once every couple of months when I've got the time of Newcastle Dawn play and fantastic news Amanda Staley has gone and met all of the squad not just one or two of them has gone and met all of the squad and they've held discussions about the future plans uh, Steve Burrell who's also been on the channel as well the head of um, Newcastle United Foundation spoke about the strategy that the the got in place and more talks will be happening and fingers crossed the women because they're flying in the minute they've just won 10-0 this won 10-0 last week they're flying at the moment, so get yourselves along to Drew Park when there's a home game. It's only three quid. If you don't drive, there's a metro next door. Get yourselves along. Uh, score goals for fun, you'll enjoy it. Um, they need the support, they need the money coming in. Uh, well, I say that, that was my next thing. They don't necessarily, they used to need the money, because we've got money now, and that leaves nicely to onto. We've got to have a WSL side for me. Durham have got one. Durham are great in the championship. It's a matter of thinking that Durham don't even have a professional men's side depend because of the size of Durham, but Durham have got one, they're doing well in the championship. Why can't Newcastle? Sunderland used to have one. We've got the money in place. We've got money here. I think we should put the money in. I hope they do. I really do. Or at least get them to play here. Because I've said this, and I've said this numerous times on this channel, that if Newcastle are playing a home game, the women should play either before or after, just to keep the crowd there. And you might get some new followers, you might get some new fans, you might get some new girls who absolutely love, falling in love with girls football. So all for it and hopefully they'll plough the money in there and the girls can start becoming professional and climb the leagues. Newcastle are doing well, as I say, they're just behind Liverpool feds. Um, it's a great time to be amongst Newcastle women. It's not often I say that, they're doing really, really well in the league and it's an exciting brand of footballer and credit to Becky Langley as well, who's done fantastic stuff with the women's and also um, hit the uni as well. But that's it, that's an update for you on NFTV Extra from a cold, freezing, late St James's Park. See you later, everyone.